Welcome to the I and Team Podcast with Brian Smith and Mary Smith. You are more important to your team than you might believe. Everybody has something to contribute, and most importantly, that's influence. Learn more on today's program. Now, here is Brian Smith and Mary Smith. Hi, team. Welcome back to the I Am Team podcast. I'm your host, Mary Smith. I'm not here with my dad right now. He is actually in Phoenix, Arizona for a conference. Um, I'm just filming the intro and the outro for this week's podcast. My dad actually went ahead and recorded this week's podcast when he was traveling in Spain. He was visiting one of our clients at Tianova. They make a, they actually make a lot of different things over there, but one of the things that we use and um, we distribute in the U.S. is the Tigris system. So my dad was able to interview them while he was away on his business trip. Um, you know, he was able to kind of look at some of the things that they're working on, take a look at their workshop, see some things in demo process. So there's a little bit of that in the video. You get to see some things super cool that they're working on over there. Um, that'll probably be towards the end of the video, depending on how it's edited. Uh, but right now they're working on this super cool product that cleans the inside of wine barrels. So in Spain, they have a lot of wine, obviously. But a problem that they have is cleaning the inside of the wine barrels because you can't break them. Um, and just making sure that they're free of like mildew and mold so that people don't get sick. And also so that like the new wine that goes in there is not tainted from the previous wine. So that was like a super cool sneak peek. I think that they do a lot of innovative stuff over at Tianova in Spain. So this interview is with them and my dad. I um, didn't get to go. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoy. See you after the clip. Hey guys, this is Brian Smith with the I and Team Podcast. And I am here at Tianova in Logroño, Spain. And this is Maria Martinez and Armando. Armando, what's your name? Huh? Yes, Science. yes. Yeah. Armando is the uh, founder and owner of Tianova and Maria is in charge of all of our marketing. Is that right? Yeah, sales and marketing. Sales and marketing, yes. So uh, this is my third time uh, to Tianova and Tianova is a partner of one of our companies, Omni Containment Systems. Um, and the reason I'm here is we did some uh, viewing of some of their new products and uh, looked at some new things that aren't actually relevant to what we do at Omni, but um, are really cool anyhow. So I'm going to have Maria and Armando um, walk us through their little showroom here and talk about why they do business with Omni and why they wanted to come to the United States and what influence that's had on on their business. So welcome, thanks, okay. thanks for thanks. joining me. Yeah, so Maria, that's the first question I'm gonna ask you is, why did you wanna do business in the United States? Well, for us, in the United States is a very big market and it's also very mature. They've been doing these kind of cleanings for, well, plenty of years. And we think it's a very good market for us. The thing we need to do is have a very good partnership that it's omni containment because they need to uh, show new customers or potential customers how this new methodology is working. Right. So we need a partnership with them. So what do you? How do you feel about doing business with the United States as opposed to some of the other countries? Because you're in a lot of countries, isn't that right? Yeah, we are in almost 70 countries now. Yeah. We're selling directly from our warehouse here in Spain or with distributors or with agents and uh, in the United States it has been a little bit different because it's a little bit slower because uh, this change of mentality or how to work with this type of equipment they are used to another kind of equipment so it's been a little bit slower but now we are entering the the market and in a really good uh, way. So good, good. and. Um Tianova is one of very few foreign companies that is a member of 
ICO, which is the International Kitchen and Exhaust Cleaning Association. Do you guys have any, do you see any kind of association like that anywhere else in the world? Well, not as, um, as big as ICA, mm -hmm. but well, Armando wanted to join ICA because uh, he thinks it's really good for us to be part of an association. He worked as a cleaner. He did this type of cleanings for 15 years uh, before designing the, this equipment. And he wanted to have uh, be part of an association as ICA. Right. Here in Spain, we have uh, different associations, but more for ventilation, not uh, for grease. And we would like to have a big one. We, we are starting a new one here but it's slow, also slow, mm -hmm. and we need to do all the regulations and all the recommendation as ICA already has. Right. I think it's interesting that you said that Armando used to be a cleaner because uh, the founder of Omni Containment Systems um, was a cleaner. Oh. And Omni Containment Systems' um, biggest competitor, Driplock, the founder of that company was a cleaner. So it's interesting to see the, the leap that goes from being a cleaner to developing products uh, yeah. for the industry. And who better, who better, right? Who better knows what is needed. Exactly, um, yes. To be designed. That's why Armando wanted to design something uh, that helps uh, all the cleaners yes. uh, to do their cleanings because he couldn't have these kind of tools when he did this type of cleanings. Right, right. So that's why uh, he developed. Good. So I'm just going to ask you to walk us through okay. and just just show everybody kind of what everything is. And um, I might do some dialogue because as some of the audience knows and some of you don't know, um, you know, I'm one of the principals at Omni Containment Systems. It's one of our companies uh, that we own at IA. and. Um, I was probably one of, I think, the, the biggest proponents of Omni doing business with Tianova, so, which is why I come here. I love it here, so it's one of my favorite. I travel all over the world, and this is my favorite place to come. So, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I, I really like it here. So we're going to walk through. So um, this first piece of equipment is what yeah. you guys call the multi-pro. Yeah, well, uh, the, the Tigra system is formed by four machines. Uh, one is the brushing robot, which is a multi-pro or forte. It's a pneumatic machine that it will be able to clean inside the duct. This machine should be connected to a compressor because it's pneumatic, so it needs... So like these pro. over here, right? Yeah. Yep. And you know what's really cool, I'm gonna share this with everybody, is that this compressor right here is really quiet. Well, I think it's the other one over there. Well, one of them's really quiet. Yeah. Anyhow, and it's kind of amazing because you can use it indoors. Yeah. So, which is one of the reasons that I was hoping that we could bring these, uh, these particular machines as an option in the United States because a lot of the KEC companies do work in buildings where there's okay. people that sleep and where they live there, right? So it gives them an opportunity to do a job that's traditionally really loud uh, indoors. indoors. Yes. So uh, let's go back yeah. over to yeah, this well, one. After the compressor, we need a foam generator. This machine will make the mixture between the chemical, the water, and it also has a compressor to make the foam, a very dense foam. And it will be connected to the brushing robot in order to inject the, the foam inside the duct. Right. Okay. And I've got some videos, guys, that um, you can go and see, or uh, I actually think Zach will probably put some uh, uh, some video on here that shows you that machine in, in action. So this is their, kind of their display unit. That's what it looks like when it's inside. Yeah. Right there. This is the different, this is a centralizer. Oh, that's really cool. So, yeah. So hopefully we're going to have something similar to this in uh, at the ICA show, where we can show people how this works, you know, within within uh, our industry. Okay. Yeah. So um, there's another multi pro. This one's called the Mini. Yeah, it's an iPhone Mini. It doesn't have a compressor either, a high pressure unit. So it's um it's 
more portable. You can lift it to the roof and use it to clean the structure. Right. And so we have two different models. Also, also from the brushing robot. And the last unit is the filter cleaning machine. Yeah, this is the one where you take the, the baffle filters yeah. and you put them, yeah, put them all in this, this inside side. here, yes. And, and it uses ultrasonic technology. Yes. So it's really, really fast. In around 10 minutes, you have the 11 filters clean. Right, right. That's really cool. So um, I want you to show us one piece that I think is also interesting for everybody. This one. Okay, it's a high pressure unit. Yes. And it could be connected to a lens, to the lens of the iPhone Pro. Mm -hmm. And you would be able to rinse in up to uh, 100 uh, PSI. It's like 1500. 1500 yeah, PSI. 1500, yes. So that's very cool. Okay. So anyhow, guys, I'm just going to peek over the edge here. The way that they have this laid out is they have a training facility. Uh, everything you see in blue is for air, air ducts. For, yeah, for ventilation yeah. cleaning. Yeah, so that's a big giant vacuum. Some of their other things are very similar. So, and then they have this training facility right here where they come and they have their uh, end users and distributors come in and learn how to use the equipment. Um, and I really like that uh, catch base in there. But then if you look over here, this is how they stage everything. So this uh, facility here is not just a showroom, but they actually stage uh, all of their sales here. And there's an R&D uh, department downstairs, but I can't, if they showed me that, then they'd have to like, you know, kill me or something. <laughs> so I can't film it, but. Um, the R&D department designed the pieces and afterwards they asked for suppliers to make the pieces and we assemble everything here. Yes. We assemble everything. Yeah, they had a little robot up here earlier that I will have some, uh, oh there it is. Yeah, so it's really cool, it's a cool robot. And I wonder you can try it. I'm yeah, good. and um, they just unveiled this. So y'all that are seeing this, it's kind of new, um, you'll see a link. To some new video that shows how this cleans, but it also videos. You can see the screen next to Armando, so it has a camera. You can actually watch it while it's while it cleans. It has an articulating um, uh, brushing system that you'll see on the video too, and it also has a rear camera, so you can see as you uh, went by it. So uh, everything here is is very efficient um, and we really uh, love the partnership that we have uh, with TNO. Thank you Armando. So yeah it's very cool. It was uh, cool for me to get to see this right before it was launched. So it's going to be launched in two weeks. Is that right? Or a yeah. week? Two yeah, weeks? Week. yeah so in a week or two weeks um, they're going to have that. Uh, Anyhow, I'm going to sign off for a minute and I'll be back to you in a little while. This here really interests me. So what a lot of you um, would be interested to know is that I'm in a place where it's called La Roja. So it's the wine region of Spain and it's amazing. You all be jealous because I get to drink wine like all day. We had it for lunch. I get to have it for dinner. And Armando gives away wine as his gift and I got a bottle of wine every year I've been here So then I go visit wineries and I drink more wine. So anyhow, yes, it's about wine while I'm here But what's really cool is Armando Thinks a lot and he sees a problem and he likes to kind of solve that problem and the team that he has behind him is Amazing, so they are playing with this machine right here which is designed to clean the inside of wine barrels. And apparently that's a real problem. How do you clean the inside of a wine barrel? They're very expensive. Um, so they are trying to find a way to clean, um, not just efficiently, but also without chemicals and things that leave residue and ruin the inside of the wine barrel, how to do that. So 
Um, there's another one over there that's to clean like the elevators, grain elevators, and you know the inside of grain elevators. In America, we've heard of some really bad um, uh, accidents that happen while they're cleaning, while they're cleaning. Yeah, inside grain elevators. So another problem they're trying to solve is how to do that. How do you do that the right way? So they take all of this engineering and then they apply it to other problems, cleaning problems. So um, one of the other things about uh, Tianova that I really liked today is, you know, Omni Containment, um, you all are familiar with Activa, one of my other companies, we're kind of green companies. So on top of this roof is just rows of solar panels. So I learned that Tianova is also um, kind of a green company. So I think that's really cool. So, and green's gonna go into this wine uh, solution because they've got to find some kind of organic solution for that. Yeah, with the ultrasounds, we have to mix them yes. in order to improve the function of the ultrasounds. So we need chemical, but uh, organic one. Yes. So that's, that's the solution. So I want to thank you both for letting me come and film you because I dropped it on you at the last minute. Yes, everybody. I informed them like 10 minutes ago I was going to film uh, from here for the show and share their influence. And, you know, it's interesting how we have influence from Spain and the United States and from a little town of Logroño and um, how you've come to the United States and influenced us to do things different and, and challenged us to think differently about how we're going to clean um, hoods, which is really a safety thing. And at the end of the day, you know, what you do is protect people, protect people from the contaminants and fires. Well, I'm talking about the air too. So we thank you very much for the work you do and thank you for doing business with us and choosing us to be your partner. You're welcome and thank you too yeah. for being our partner. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Armando. Hi team, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this week's podcast and interview with our friends over at Tea Nova and Tigris. They're super nice. Um, I know that my dad is really grateful for being able to interview them. He was there for business, but they were super nice and allowed him to interview for our podcast too. So we're really grateful and we hope that we can share some other aspects of like influence people have in their workspaces in places from all over the world. So I'm really excited that we have another interview here for you guys. Um, my dad, I mentioned in the intro that he is at a conference in Phoenix, so he'll be filming more interviews and podcasts there without me. So I'll be making little appearances in those upcoming um, podcasts. And make sure to follow us, guys, on Twitter. We're at Ion Team Series. That's where I'm most active for the book. So if you ever have any questions or want us to talk about anything on the podcast or just want to, like, chat, that's where I usually am. You can just send us a message. We also have a Facebook and a LinkedIn at the Ion Team Series. And then my dad's Twitter is at Your Biz Doctor. If you ever want to message him, he's always on there, too. Um... Yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast channel, which is on the Voice America Business channel. It also goes out to Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes. Um, I think that's all. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to the I in Team podcast. We hope we've positively influenced you and you've picked something up from the show that you can use in building and influencing other individuals or your team. Please join us soon for another program on the Voice America Business Channel.